Today I wanted to talk about some of my apothecary staples, specifically any products that I've used up completely or that I have just recently re-upped on because I've completely used them up. Um, I've gotten really into wellness and um, everything kind of herbalism and apothecary oriented in the past couple of years. So I just wanted to share my feedback on some products that I really, really, really love and like authentically have used completely. Um, and just to speak on the fact that I haven't been on YouTube in a very long time, just want to say, hey, uh, I've continued to post on my blog and my Instagram for years and years, and you can go and see like the backlog of all the things I've posted about on my blog, wolfrelicforfood.com, or on Instagram, at wolfrelicforfood. Um, I often post IGTVs or like stories and stuff for video content there. But I'm just really happy to come back to YouTube after so many years of honestly just being like too much of a perfectionist and thinking that I needed to have the fanciest gear ever to just make YouTube videos, which I just don't need it. Um, so I'm here with my phone with a moment lens on it and I'm just gonna go over all this stuff and, and uh, give it a good go. All right, so first things first is... <laughs> Nettles. Um, this was originally like two pounds of nettles, so it's taken me a while to get through it, and this is all that I have left. Um, nettles are kind of like, I don't know, I, I always equate them almost to like a really, really nutritive, wild spinach. <laughs> Which, if herbalists watch this, they're gonna be like, it's not spinach, it's way more magical than that. But, um, that's true, it is way more magical than spinach, but I use it in a lot of the same context other than tea. So you can like make a great tea with this, um, full of like calcium and all sorts of nice micronutrients that are just wonderful. Um, use it every single day, you can't go wrong. But I also use this in soups and I will even like, crazy me, like throw it in cake batter because it's pretty neutral. I mean, it's got a little bit of that mineral quality you can expect from a lot of green foods, but otherwise it's pretty neutral. Um, it's really great and highly recommend checking it out. This one I believe is from Mountain Reserve. So that's who I would recommend sourcing from. Although I do think that I mixed like a batch of Mountain Reserves and a batch from a small maker from when, when I went to North Carolina recently and like bought some stuff from a small apothecary. It's a goodie. Uh, next up I have a couple products from Anima Mundi Herbs, um, Anima Mundi Apothecary. The first one is this adaptogenic mushroom powder. I think it has about seven mushrooms in it and also cacao, which is really, really nice. And this is actually has maca in it because I reused the jar for some uh, loose maca that I got. And I've definitely used at least two or three jars of this stuff. It's really, really great in a latte or like hot chocolate so nice and you really can't taste that there's like any sort of mushroom in it at all so i really like it a lot um just to speak on the exact mushrooms that are in here uh reishi royal agaricus lion's mane chaga cordyceps cacao shiitake and maitake is everything that's in there big fan i also really like this little adaptogenic guy from anna mundi they um Call the seven mushroom of immortality kind of supplement or tonic, but uh, it's essentially the liquid version of that powder, but without cacao. Um, and it does have shizandra in it, which is quite nice, quite nice. Very, very similar, and I highly recommend it. So that's something that I would more so put in like a smoothie or something. You could put it in a hot chocolate, but the um, the alcohol-based kind of tinctures are pretty flexible and I feel like more flexible than powders a lot of the time. Um, and the happiness tincture from Anima Mundi. This one I've recommended to many friends who suffer with seasonal affective disorder. Um, it is one of my favorite kind of like little magical, magical, magical tonics for the winter time. It really helps me get through. So this actually is full, but I've used up two or three of these. So this is a newer bottle that I got recently. Um, Macuna, Ashwagandha, Albizia, which I'm not familiar with Albizia. St. John's Wort, Rhodiola, um, and it's extracting glycerin with cane spirits and water at a 10 to 1 ratio. So I, I really love this one. I think it's kind of genius. Um, and everybody I know who's tried it has been like, wow, I can't believe that that is so effective with my, with my like seasonal depression. 
Urban Moonshine Energy Tonic. The next three tonics that I'm gonna talk about from Urban Moonshine are probably my most recommended apothecary products, just generally. Like when people ask me what type of herb I take, I'm just like, just take the Urban Moonshine ones. It's so easy. Um, they're really simple formulations. This one, Energy Tonic, if you're like trying to get over caffeine, maybe you're um, taking a, a, you're skipping your, your coffee habit or your tea habit or whatever and you're trying to find some support, this is a really great one. I also use it when I'm doing a lot of extroverted activity and I need some support. So like last year I went to a couple of festivals, like big, big, big music festivals and I was feeling very depleted and I would just put this in some sparkling water. I put this and Joy Tonic in some sparkling water during the day and I would just drink that, walk around the festival and I felt so good and so supported. Whereas usually I feel like really drained by super intense extroverted activity like that. Speaking of Joy Tonic, huge fan. Obviously this is a gigantic bottle. This is actually my friend Lindsay's bottle. She brought it over for brunch one day to put in like little mocktails. So cute, so us. <laughs> but we are both huge fans of this and again, um, I don't know if I said it already, but Lindsay is a formal herbalist. She's a trained herbalist and nutritionist, and she is also a huge, huge fan. Um, motherwort, linden leaf and flower, rose petal, lemon balm, lemongrass, mugwort. It's just really smart. Um, a lot of these are now available at like Wegmans and stuff because they just got bought by traditional medicinals. So they're really accessible now and just a great intro to herbalism if you're just kind of getting started with it really just elevates your mood and you kind of have a better day and I just think it's a really lovely lovely little bottle of goodness um, and simmer down tonics this is the third one from urban moonshine that I use up so fast this is another full bottle but I have used up so much of this this is um, I just reordered some so this is the new bottle and don't mind the black mark on there I don't know why this came with a black mark on it no idea but it came in like a pack of four and all of them had little black marks on them but i take this every single night before i go to sleep it helps me a lot with my muscle tension so i have like tmj and kind of chronic tension in my shoulders and my neck and this really helps me a lot when i don't take it i really feel the effects of it um it's ashwagandha skullcap milky oat and tulsi and i love all of those herbs they're very supportive if you have nervous system um, overreaction, which I tend, my nervous system tends to be like kind of on alert a lot of the time. And ever since I started taking this, I feel like I'm just like a way chiller person, which is not to say that I'm not a chill person, but I do think that I just feel chiller, like more relaxed in my body, not just emotionally. Um, yeah, so it's good stuff. Moving on. Uh, this one, I like the label is all messed up on it because I've used it so much and like spilled it a million times. But this is the jojoba oil from Mountain Rose Herbs. It's organic jojoba oil. It's just jojoba oil. Nothing fancy about it at all. Um, some people could say this is more of like a beauty thing, but I personally think that it's just like an everyday must have. So jojoba oil is non comedogenic which means it doesn't clog your pores. So you can use it on your whole body and your face. And I think that Mountain Reserves has a really good price on it. And I just really love it. I use it for like everything. And I'm just gonna kind of like quickly go over a lot of the other ones. So Gaia Turmeric Supreme Extra Strength, they use a proprietary method where they create like a super concentrated tincture that they've figured out how to cap. And again, this isn't a completely empty bottle. It's a, a re-up but they look like this, these like little green capsules. So they're highly, highly effective and easily absorbed into your body. And I think that this is my favorite turmeric supplement because of that fact. It just, it works really quickly. Um, and I use it for generalized like pain or inflammation. Great right after like a hard workout class. This one is another re-up. I've used up two full bottles of this. Um, triple call magnesium. It's got three different magnesiums in it. It is uh, magnesium glycinate, malate, and taurate. And it is super effective. Um, if you are familiar with taking magnesium at night, like a magnesium citrate, which is like what natural calm is, that can be really calming. But 
I just don't think that it permeates the um, blood brain barrier as well. It doesn't get as deep into your tissue essentially. So I really love this one. Um, I got this on Amazon. Yeah. This, another one that I've re-upped on, is this vitamin D3 2000 IU uh, from Nature Wise. It's just a like super simple one. I'm sure that there are, I don't know, fancier ones or whatever, but I don't need fancy, I need what works. And I take this every single day in the summer. I'm sorry, I take it every single day, all year long, especially in the winter, so I just make sure I never forget it. It makes a really big difference in feeling good. Um, especially if you're somebody who has like a Scandinavian type of background, uh, you gotta be taking vitamin D, man. It's really, really important for overall health and like preventing diseases and stuff. And then another vitamin D, is this, it's this fish oil with vitamin D, so I kind of like double up on the vitamin D. Um, Pro Mega 2000 from Nordic Naturals. I really love this. I feel like it helps me so much with just brain health. Generally, it's an EPA and DHA supplement. And I'm mentioning this Raw Honey from Really Raw Honey. It's a pretty small company. I do get this at Whole Foods. It is really awesome and it comes with a cap of propolis on top um, and usually has a little bit of like beeswax in it. You can see how just like creamy and it's just got this really soft kind of color. I use this for face masks. It's also fantastic in smoothies. I always use a superior raw honey for face skin and internally instead of just like your general honey which often doesn't have any of the awesome medicinal benefits of raw honey. I'm gonna get into teas here so I have a few, a few teas to mention. I'm a freaking tea fiend. I have massive amounts of tea in my house so much so I'm only mentioning the ones that I have used up and are like in bad shape because they've been squished so much from just handling them. Um, this one is called Night on Glacier Bay. It was sent to me by my sister-in-law. It's from Montana Tea and Spice Trading LLC. It's like a really small business in Missoula, Montana, but it's so good. It makes the best iced tea. And I will say that this does have like, it has a lot of really good medicinal things in it and just flavor things in it. It does have artificial oils, which I'm not a big fan of, just generally using anything artificial but I just really love this tea and I'm just not gonna lie to you. I drink things, I drink this and it has an artificial oil in it. Oh well, but it's great, tastes great. Um, the next thing, look at this janky freaking box. Like it is so messed up, but I have bought so many boxes of this tea from Yogi, the Soothing Caramel Bedtime Tea. It is so good. It's such a good formulation again for sleep and just kind of like lulling yourself into this chill type of space. It just makes you feel really, really good before you go to sleep. And it tastes delicious. It's like a kind of like vanilla, a little bit of a light chai type of flavor. Yeah, and it's got a, real, a lot of really good stuff in it. I won't read off the label because it's really, really long, but I absolutely love this one. Ticino is the next thing. If you ain't drinking Ticino, I don't know. I don't know if we can be friends. Um, I'm <laughs> just kidding, obviously, but this is an herbal coffee that I drink to keep myself from drinking coffee all day. It's basically chicory and carob and barley, and this one has like dates and almonds and figs and vanilla extract, and it tastes so much like coffee to me. Um, this is a loose version that I just like put in a um, tea strainer and brew that way, or I'll put it in a French press, and it's very delightful. And another totally crinkly crunched up box of, or bag of tea, vanilla rooibos from Mountain Reserves. This is my favorite rooibos um, that I've ever had. I feel like it's really, really fresh. Um, it is like flavored with a vanilla flavoring as opposed to uh, like vanilla um, bean or whatever. <laughs> um, but it is all certified organic. So I will say that about it and I'm a, I just, I just love this stuff. There's like one serving left in here and I just happened to re-up on it and it comes in these nice boxes now. The only other tea that I'll mention for now is this Firefly Chai from, again, from Mountain Reserves. I have a lot of tea from Mountain Reserves and I do have a sponsored relationship with them, but, um, and this particular product was gifted to me, but I would buy this no matter what my relationship was with them. I think this is the best, 
herbal chai that I have had yet and I just think it's really just delicious and spicy and it's got ginger, um, cinnamon chips, rooibos, cardamom, and clove and nutmeg and it's just simple and warm and delightful and you put like a little splash of oat milk in there and you're like so good it's so good um yeah and then another another mountain rose herbs thing i do love them i'm like a super fan but i just wanted to mention this um sandalwood essential oil i haven't completely used this one up but i did use up an entire little bottle of this recently as well as an entire little bottle of their rose essential oil it is quite expensive but it's so good oh my gosh i just put like a couple drops of this in an entire bottle of jojoba oil and that's what i use as my skin moisturizer when i jump out of the shower he's good he's really really good the next thing i want to talk about is this dr teal's salt um it is so good it is so cheap and i think we use probably close to about 20 pounds of this a month i mean between me and logan logan is my husband we use so much of this um it's just an epsom salt this one has chamomile in it i actually haven't tried the chamomile one i'm a bigger fan of the ginger clay version i think these usually cost about like five dollars at least at wegmans where we shop they're awesome um great for bath time time bath time and we are both really really big fans of this particular one particular brand the last two things that i want to mention here are this Migrastil migraine stick. This is a um, just basically a little roller that you put on your body. If you're having a headache or you're having any like neck pain, shoulder pain, you could put it anywhere on your body, honestly. Um, I wouldn't suggest putting it on your face because it does contain coconut oil and coconut oil can cause breakouts for a lot of people. Also because it's a really strong therapeutic grade of peppermint, um, you don't want it to get anywhere in your eyes or your mouth or your nose because it can burn. So just be careful of that. But if you happen to have some pain, I really, really love this one. Um, it's, it's really nice and that's it up close there. And then to mention, this one here, this is the um, CBD balm from Charlotte's Web. They'll call it the hemp, hemp balm. I've used this up completely essentially. There's just like a couple more uses here. Uh, I love this one. I can use it anywhere. I've used it on my face and I have yet to get a breakout from using it on my face, which is pretty awesome and surprising, honestly. Um, it does have shea and jojoba in it and it does have a little bit of coconut oil in it as well. So once again, I wouldn't specifically suggest using this on your face, but I do think that the shea and jojoba kind of like cut the content of coconut in it. And it's really great for pain relief. Um, great if you have headaches, great if you have any joint muscle, muscle pain. I will often put this on after I go to the gym, like pack it in my gym bag, and then I'll just put it on after I do like sauna or just take a shower, and then I'm like good to go. So it does have a bit of an icy hot type of quality to it. It is kind of minty or tingly on your skin, but I do find that it's not so intense that all I can think about is my skin. Um, it's a little bit more moderate than other ones that I've tried, and I think it smells nice. It does have a bit of that camphor kind of smell to it, um, but it also does have like mint and clove in it as well, and I, I just kind of like, like the smell of those things. I like the smell of mint. So yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. That's a goodie. I actually have a, a much bigger version of that that I'm almost done with as well. So that is it for my apothecary empties. I would love to hear if there's anything in your apothecary or your wellness um, kit at home that you're really, really loving. Please share with me. I love to discover new things and I love to hear feedback from people about what they're really, really into in like wellness right now. If you could like just put your top three, that would be awesome and share with the community below. And um, I will definitely see you all soon for the next video. And I will see you all next time that I post here on YouTube, which will hopefully be very, very soon.